Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jake and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Star Wars Outlaws because I have some thoughts and I have some concerns and I just wanted to get into this a little bit and talk about this game because I think this has a ton of potential and that kind of leaves me a little bit scared. But real quick before we begin, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you feel so inclined. It really does help me out a lot and it goes a long, long way. I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, let's jump straight into today's video. So Star Wars Outlaws was shown off at Ubisoft Forward and I was incredibly surprised with what I've seen. So this actually got announced at the Xbox Showcase uh, like a day before Ubisoft Forward and it looked very interesting and it looked like it had potential and I wanted to see more of it. So I tuned into Ubisoft Forward and again, I was just very, very surprised with what I've seen because this actually looks like it could be incredible. It looks like it could be the Star Wars game I have been waiting so long for. Now, what does that mean? Well, essentially I have for a very long time wanted to play a Star Wars RPG where I'm not a Jedi, I don't have a lightsaber, I'm just a normal person living in the Star Wars universe going about things and living in this world essentially. And this looks like it is kind of what I asked for. And I say kind of because it's obviously called Star Wars Outlaws, which implies that you're going to be an outlaw. We know that the main story involves a big heist and trying to get rich. So obviously it's it's kind of like a, a criminal story. So it's not an RPG in the sense of you get to choose your character, but it is an RPG in the sense that you get to make choices throughout the story, kind of similar to The Witcher. You know, in The Witcher you play as Geralt and Obviously, you don't get to choose your character. You are a Geralt, you are a Witcher, but you get to make choices within the story. And it looks like they're going for the same route with this game. And that gets me incredibly excited. So let's take a step back for a second and let's just look at this game and, and take a think about it. Because the, the first thing that I want to mention is that this game is being developed by Ubisoft. Now, regardless of your opinion on Ubisoft, I think everyone can agree that they're kind of a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to their games. They have a lot of really interesting ideas, but the execution is never really that great. Their games aren't terrible, but they're not great. Ubisoft are essentially really good at releasing average games, at least in my opinion. Now, with this game, I'm kind of getting a similar feeling that I had with Watch Dogs Legion, because with Legion, I was incredibly excited for it. I thought it had a ton of potential. And then it finally came out and I was playing it and I thought, this is good, it's fine but it's not great. It wasn't what I hoped it would be. Now, to be fair, the main reason for that was just a really boring story and not that great voice acting because obviously one of the characters just had weird voices and they were high pitched and stuff. So it was kind of an issue with the, the gameplay design. They went, the actual gameplay itself of Legion was pretty fun, but regardless, that's, that's not what this video is about. I'm getting a bit off topic here, but I'm just getting a bit worried because again, with Ubisoft games, they always have a habit of advertising this thing that gets me really excited. I think it's a really cool concept and I think, oh my God, that could be amazing. And then the game comes out and it's just kind of average. And I'm scared that that's what this is going to be again. So let's just start with the main story. So the main story of this game focuses on you playing the main character called Kay. And she is essentially a low-life outlaw who robs people and does whatever she needs to do to get money because, hey, the world is tough. And in this, you're going to meet another character who is essentially going to pull you together and you're going to be doing this big heist to get, you know, the big payday, the big payout. And that as a concept is really interesting, especially for Star Wars. It gives me kind of GTA vibes, you know, like, um, I mean, I don't have to explain that, right? It, it just gives you GTA vibes. And I think that's a really cool thing for, for Star Wars. And again, playing as, as an outlaw in this universe, I think is going to be really fun and has a lot of potential. Um, we also know that the game is open world as well, which means that it's probably going to have a lot of that Ubisoft kind of, you know, flair to it. It's, it's going to be an open world full of a bunch of little things that you can go and do with markers on your map everywhere. But I'm not really interested in that. What I'm interested in is the RPG mechanics, because that is the thing that stood out to me. So in the gameplay trailer we've seen, it started with a little bit of combat. There's some stealth, you get caught, you do some combat, you drive away on your bike and you go into a little town. And when you go in this to this little town, you then meet with a person and it actually came up with a choice because essentially she tries to blackmail you and you have a choice to either pay her or you can just get up and leave. And it would it appears that that choice is actually pretty impactful because when you get up to leave, you actually get a wanted level and you have to quickly leave the town before people come in and start looking for you. So the game has been confirmed to have a wanted system and a reputation system, which of course will change depending on choices that you make throughout it. And again, we can see that in the gameplay. 
play. When she decides not to fall for the bribe and she gets and walks away, she not only gets wanted, but she also loses reputation, which I think is really cool. And again, I don't know how much of an impact this is going to actually have on the story. I would hope a lot because again, naturally when playing this, I think I'm going to be comparing it a lot to The Witcher uh, because it just seems as though they're kind of similar in the way that they're going for. And that wanted and reputation system, I really hope is, is rather in depth and actually has real consequences because it would suck if that choice essentially boiled down to you paying and losing some money and you get to just walk out of that area fine or you get wanted and essentially nothing changes. You get wanted, you fly away, you lose the wanted level and that is it and you lose a bit of reputation that doesn't really matter. So I hope that the reputation system is rather fleshed out but we didn't really get too much detail on that. We don't have much detail on the game as a whole to be honest yet. Um, but I really do hope that they, they go all into that. And that's kind of the first thing that worries me because they didn't talk about it too much. We know that it's in the game, but they didn't go in depth to how it works. And again, naturally w with stuff like this, my brain starts running with the ideas and I start thinking of all the possibilities and all the fun things that could be going on in this game. And the problem is, is that that may likely not be a reality. And again, comparing it to Watch Dogs Legion, when Ubisoft showed that off, my, my brain was running wild with all the possibilities and ideas. And then when the actual game came out, a lot of the things that I thought about just weren't possible. And I feel like this game might be going in a similar direction, that it looks really promising. And again, just in that typical Ubisoft fashion, it's a really interesting idea that they just don't execute very well. And it just turns out to be a good, fun game, but nothing too great. And I really want to see greatness from Ubisoft because it's been a while since they've released anything of note, at least for me personally and I'd really like to see them bounce back and release some awesome games and I hope that this is the first step of that because again this has a lot of potential I think and if that wanted and reputation system is actually very in-depth then this could actually be an incredible game and, and the RPG mechanics could again bring it up to that CD Project Red level but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how it turns out. I'm trying not to get too excited because Again, I can also see the other version of this where the wanted system and the reputation is more of just a flashy thing rather than something like an actual in-depth mechanic. Now, reading about it, uh, so it turns out that this game actually has quite a lot to the open world because it not only has little towns that we've seen in the gameplay, but apparently it has huge cities as well, which again, instantly gets me excited because I, I love cities in video games, especially in open world games, and if they're done well. And I think Star Wars specifically has really interesting ones that I would love to explore. Now, I was playing Jedi Survivor not that long ago, just a few months back, and minor spoiler alert, you, you kind of get a saloon in that game that you get to, uh, there's a garden on the top and you can get missions from the people inside, and the saloon grows as you play through the game. And I really like the idea, but I felt as though it wasn't that fleshed out. And when I was playing it, it made me not excited about the actual saloon in that game specifically, but it made me just wish for this Star Wars RPG more than anything, because I was walking around that town and I was building up this saloon and it felt kind of like something that was like tacked on last minute. It wasn't very in-depth and the entire time I was just thinking, oh my god, why is there not a Star Wars RPG? Why is this not a full game? Like, why am I playing this Star Wars platformer game instead of an actual full Star Wars RPG that would be absolutely amazing. And then literally a few months later, this gets announced and it looks as though it could be exactly what I was asking for. So again, my hype is kind of high, but at the same time, it's Ubisoft, so it kind of drags down a little bit because again, no shade at Ubisoft, they release good games, it's just never been great games in my opinion. They haven't released a great game in quite a long time. And again, I want this to be a great game. I don't want it just to be good, I want it to be great. And I'm worried that that might not be the case. Now, again, them confirming that there are cities and such in this does excite me a little bit because it means the world is going to be a lot bigger. Uh, we already know that there is space and you can get involved in space battles and you can fly around to different planets and stuff. So adding cities there as well could be huge. And it kind of rem reminds me of Starfield a little bit, just in the same way that you would be going from planet to planet and there would be cities on each planet with quests and people that you can meet. And again, kind obviously not as in-depth RPG mechanics as Starfield, obviously it's not going to be anywhere near that. The choices that you get to make are like, they pop up and you kind of have an option of yes or no, essentially. Um, so obviously not as in-depth as Starfield, but I mean, it just kind of gives me off the same vibe, like you can go anywhere in the galaxy, and it's kind of, it's just a Star Wars RPG, essentially. And again, that's that's pretty much everything I've wanted. Now there is this image here, which is from their website. And 
it, it shows the main character and that little pet that you get walking through the streets of a city. And again, that, that this is uh, one of the cities that I was talking about that is in the game. And it kind of gives you a sense for the vibe that they're going for and stuff. We didn't see this in the gameplay. I don't remember if we've seen it in the trailer or not, to be honest. But I just wanted to include this in as well because, again, it just shows what this game is going to look like. And that brings me on to my next thing, which is the graphics and overall vibe of this game. Because... Again, it was something I was very surprised about. Now, Ubisoft don't make ugly games. I'm just going to put that out there. Watch Dogs Legion was incredibly pretty. And all of the recent Assassin's Creed games have been incredibly pretty. Ubisoft aren't known for making ugly games, so it shouldn't come as a shock. But this game looked next level. When she was riding the bike getting away from, from the enemies and, and going towards the town. You could see all of the stones being kicked up and the dust being kicked up behind. This looked really, really good. It was Star Wars Jedi Survivor next level kind of generation tech. And that really surprised me, especially coming from Ubisoft. Now, again, I'm trying not to get too excited because we know that Ubisoft downgrades are a thing. They show something at E3 and then the actual game comes out and it doesn't look as good as it did. And that hasn't happened as much recently but it does still happen so again it, it's not something that i'm getting overly excited for but i was just really surprised at how good this game looked and i didn't notice any real frame drops when i was watching the gameplay either it looked like it ran really smooth which just gives me a lot of hope now we know that this is being developed on a new engine and that does give me a lot of excitement because Ubisoft have been working on this engine for quite a while. Now it's being made on Snowdrop, which of course was the engine that ran The Division, and that game did run and look very pretty, so again, it shouldn't be a surprise that this game should look pretty decent itself, but it has been significantly upgraded, I'm pretty sure, for Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. They've been upgrading it quite a lot for that game, and they decided to also bring that tech over to this Star Wars game, which again, I think has a lot of potential for uh, next generation graphics and animations. And honestly, I, I really hope the game looks and runs as pretty as it did in that preview because it was very, very nice to look at. Again, with Ubisoft, it seems as though that it, it, I'm getting the same vibe as I did again with Watch Dogs Legion, that it's these games that look really promising and really cool and then might actually deliver to not be that great. I don't know. But this one, I'm a lot more worried about. Uh, I'm, I'm a lot more worried about Star, Star Wars than Avatar because Avatar looks like it kind of knows what it wants to be it's being very straightforward about that it's essentially just hey this is far cry but it's avatar and i'm okay with that 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 seems like it could be a ton of fun and i i'm kind of have my expectations tempered with that but with this star wars one i'm just i'm really i don't know because this could either be just an okay game which would be disappointing for me because I want it to be a great game because I really think it has potential to be truly amazing. And that's why I've made this entire video. I know that it was all kind of rambly and there wasn't really much of a point to it. And I didn't go over much of the game details because again, there's not a lot that we know about it. But I just wanted to make it because it was something that I was thinking about and I thought it'd be an interesting talking point And I wanted to hear your guys' opinions on this game too, because again, uh, if this game comes out and it's just an okay game, I'm not actually going to be happy with that. I usually am fine with that if a game comes out and it's not, you know, the best thing ever. But it, it's just because I feel as though this is the game that I've been waiting for for such an incredibly long time. And I feel as though the fact that it is now here and this could potentially be that, I, I just want it to be the best it can possibly be. I don't want just another okay average game. I don't want it to be another Ubisoft thing where I buy it and I play it for a couple hours. I'm like, yeah, that was fun. I want it to be great. I want it to truly be that Star Wars RPG that I wanted. Now, again, obviously it's not gonna be super in depth with the RPG mechanics. You know, you're confined to being an outlaw. There is a main story, your character is already defined. But I just mean, again, in the sense of The Witcher, Give me a lot of branching choices. Give me a lot of things. Give me an in-depth reputation system that actually affects the story and gameplay. Give me a in-depth wanted level that actually affects how I navigate that world, how I get around things. You know, maybe I'll have a high wanted level so I can't get into a city to progress with this mission. So maybe I have to sneak in and sneak through the alleyways and make sure I don't get seen by anyone patrolling the streets. That sort of thing is what I'm hoping for, but I am also very skeptical because, again, I don't trust Ubisoft with something like that because, again, they're just known for releasing, again, just for me at least, just very average games. 
So I don't know, I'm very skeptical, but also excited and I'm going to be following this game as new info comes out for sure. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on it so I know what to expect by the time it finally does come. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give my thoughts on that. But let me know what you think. Are you excited for Star Wars Outlaws? Do you think that it's going to be a great RPG game or do you think it's just going to be another okay Ubisoft game. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed and that notification bell so you know when I next upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Jake and I will see you next time.